Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about A Small Collection of Happiness by Zana Fralin. This is her upcoming middle fiction release. It is being released by Hachette, who very kindly sent me a review copy of the book and I had a great time reading this. It is a gorgeous, whimsical story and I'm actually going to read the blurb of this one. I don't always do this with books, but I'm going to do it for this one. Mostly because Zana Fralin is just a favourite author of mine. When Ada arrives on the day of the great summer storm, it is like the wind had picked her up and blown her in walking stick and all, and dumped her right at the front gates of number nine Hawkehurst Lane. Unfortunately, Ada is not the kind of neighbour Hetty was hoping for. Cranky, impatient, and a hater of cats, Ada has no intention of making friends. But as the summer unfolds, Hetty and Ada discover they have more in common than they think. Could their unlikely friendship be the missing piece they never knew they needed? This is a gorgeous story of friendship between an older character and a younger character who find themselves as unexpected neighbours. And it is full of little stories about them connecting throughout the book. And each chapter is its own individual story, but they all connect to th flow through like a normal chapter book. But you don't get all of the filler text that you would normally expect to get. Like they, these are little vignettes that piece together to tell their story. And it was really, really gorgeous. I believe I read that Zana Fralin's inspiration or one of her sources of inspiration for this series was Glenda Millard's The Kingdom of Silk series, which is one of my all time favorite children's novel series. And you can really tell because it is those beautiful little cozy stories, little adventures that piece together and bring together two characters who are the most unlikeliest of companions. So Hetty and Ada live in an apartment complex. I'm not sure if it's an apartment building or if it's just a, a series of apartments that are, are closely linked together. And there's a little bit of a magical realism element threaded through here because there are rumors of a panther that is perhaps stalking the town. And together Ada and Hetty begin to investigate and Ada suspects that it might be someone from her past who has come back to share a message with her. There is some queer coding in this book which I think is really lovely. It's not explicit on page and it may not be the author's intention but that's the way that I read it. And I thought that was really lovely because it's clearly a relationship that was very very important to Ada. And I loved how that element then wove its way back into all of the other little stories and adventures that Ada and Hetty have gone on to. So it was really really nice. There's also a thread of you know fighting back against corporations because someone is trying to knock down the apartment complex and part of what Ada and Hedda begin to investigate links back to how they can save their home. So I really like that thread. Zana Fralin's writing style is just, she is so good at her turns of phrase and the way she uses language to convey her story. Even when using simple text, she uses it really, really effectively. And I think I've said before, I could read her middle fiction, her young adult fiction, or her picture books, and I am deeply immersed. I am just always blown away by the work that she does. So thank you again to Hachette for sending me this copy. I absolutely adored it. I will leave links down below where you can find out more information about the book and I'll also leave the release date down below as well. There's something just a little bit magical about it and I think that's amazing. In the comments, I'd love to know if you have read Zana Fralin before, if you're planning on picking up this book or any of her other works, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, feel free to leave a seedling emoji down below, which is very important as one of the threads of the story through the whole book. So a seedling to let me know you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.